Well, I have one last um, spirit from uh, the Bimber Distillery in London to talk about. And it's this one right here. It's the Bimber London Dry Gin. And this is a 50 milliliter bottle. It is 40% alcohol by volume. And it says on here, batch number 001. Like every one of these has been batch 001. Premium quality. It says on it, London Dry Gin, Bimber Distillery. It's got an address. They probably have a uh, website as well. Oh, yes, they do. www w.bimberdistillery.co.uk There you go. Now I'm going to pour this. Actually, what I should do is angle this down if I can. If there are not too many things in the way. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. I got two glasses here. I got this one like this here. I'll just pour that gin in there. Turn it sideways to get the last of it. Okay. Now, back in uh, February, I was at the uh, whiskey festival in Duncan called the Cowichan Valley Whiskey Festival with Trenny and C. And it was a whiskey festival, right? So I was going through all the whiskey, and then I came upon this one table where they had a gin. And uh, I was curious about this because, you know, when the weather starts getting warmer, like this time of year right now, uh, I like a, a gin and tonic. So this was... The Bimber Gin, I thought I would put it up against this Sheringham. And this here, it says World Gin Awards, and it said uh, World's Best Contemporary Style, Canadian Artisan Spirit Competition Gold 2018. This has won awards. This is like a big deal. And I had tried some things from Sheringham before, namely, namely their um, New Make Spirit. But now I have never tried their gin. Uh, oh, nice pop on that one too. I'm going to try and get the same amount in this glass as I have in the other one. Is that about right? Well, it's a little more, but I don't think it makes a difference. It's poured out, it's poured out. So, I'm going to have some gin and tonics. Two gin and tonics. I have here the tonic water. This is the uh, Fever Tree tonic water. Premium Indian ton tonic water. It says if your gin and tonic, if three quarters of your gin and tonic is tonic, mix with the best. So, this is apparently, this is this is right up there. This is like premium tonic water. This thing cost for a four pack. Or a, this little bottle here, that little bottle is tonic water. And I have the bill of sale right here. So the tonic water, it was uh, $8.99 and 40 cents so oh, nine dollars and 39 cents for four of these so this is more than two bucks for this little 200 mil bottle <laughs> it's not cheap and just so you know the sharing him the gin was not a cheap one either that's, that's locally made, right? Down the road here, about an hour. An hour down the road. You go west uh, along the southern end of Vancouver Island and you get to where they make this. And it's about an hour away. And that one goes for uh, 
45, $45.99 plus tax. So the whole thing, this in the four tonic waters was fifty-five forty-eight. The goods and services tax is two dollars and seventy-five cents. The liquor tax is four dollars and sixty cents. Okay, because there's only liquor tax on this, not on the tonic water. Grand total sixty-two dollars and eighty-three cents. Wow. Good thing I have one of these bottle openers here, so I can open up a bottle of tonic water. So one fifth gin and four fifths tonic water. And here we go with the another tonic water. And we're gonna try these side by side. I don't drink gin straight up. I, it's got to have tonic water. I, I'm sorry. But you know what? I can. It's too late to try the Bimber. It's too late to try the Bimber because I've already mixed it with the uh, tonic. Oh. Has a nice aroma. It smells like a gin and tonic. And what does the sharing have? Oh. Sheringham has stronger, stronger, stronger botanicals, definitely. Very fresh. Coming back here. Uh, let's get the last few drops out of there. And save this bottle for sending samples to people. People are asking for samples. Okay. I have some water, regular water. <sighs> oh, it's all right. Yeah, I'm not doing this as scientifically as maybe I could. If I was going to be scientific about it, I would have tasted them both in Glencairn glasses. But I'm not going to make a scientific thing about it. This is a subjective kind of uh, evaluation anyway. The question is, do I like it? Hmm. Mm, refreshing. The Bimber Gin with uh, Fever Tree Water is very nice. It has a almost chalky aftertaste and uh, nice flavor. I can't pick out exactly what the flavor is. I guess it's from the tonic water. It's the um, Mm. That is a beautiful mix. Nice dry finish. Lovely, lovely stuff. 
Is this one also bottled at 40% out of curiosity? Ah, yes. 43%. Ah! It's the year 2019, batch number 1544. Refreshing as the seaside stroll with citrus, floral, and notes from the sea. Internationally award-winning seaside gin is made from local botanicals from land and ocean. Juniper, rose, coriander, lavender, local hand-harvested sustainable winged kelp, and citrus. We invite you to pound sign, make it a Sherringham, small batch handmade spirits. Uh, from South Vancouver Island, made with BC ingredients and steadfast craftsmanship. Sharingham Distillery dot com it says so right there. Distillery dot com. Now this is the one I'm going to try now. Oh, that smells lovely. Hmm. Oh, don't get me wrong, the Bimber London Dry Gin is good, but this has a lot more flavor to it, a lot more the citrus. Mm. You really get a lot more citrus from this one. Um, you get citrus from the bimber as well, but it's kind of muted. It's kind of understated. This one just comes out with the citrus and uh, and juniper. Naturally, I think you get a little more. A little more juniper from the bimber, less citrus. But I'm no expert on gin. However, this this is really good. This stuff, this 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 was my drink of the night, uh, just like right here. This stuff is amazing, and when you put it with this. Fever tree tonic water. That is my drink of the night, right there. That is it, right there. Fantastic. Yeah, that stuff is amazing. Just amazing. Um, I'm gonna really enjoy the rest of this bottle. Hmm. Delicious and complex, refreshing. It was my drink of the night at the whiskey festival. Incredible. I'm going to enjoy a lot of these this year. The Bimber, also good. Much drier. Also very refreshing. And I'm glad to have had it. I should have tasted it before adding, adding the tonic though. But I don't like gin by itself. Yeah. Not much else to say at the moment except uh, to your very good health. Food queen. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>